Hello there, welcome back to my RPG Maker MV tutorials. My name is Syndicate and today we're going to be looking at uh, mining, smelting and synthesis of items. Now let's quickly run through the demo uh, and we'll go through it together afterwards. So you start off outside the mine, uh, you've got a character here who will sell gems to you and over here you can pick up some slippers. So let's do that first of all. Then let's make our way into this mine. So you're in the mine, the first thing you'll notice is a rock over here. Now, if only I had something that could chip away at this rock. Up here you'll find the mining pick. So if we try again, you'll see that this time we can actually have a choice of mining it or not mining it. So let's mine it. Ah, well, it looks like we've got some copper ore on that occasion. Over here you'll see there's a different coloured vein. It is for iron. So let's mine this one. Looks like we've got some iron ore. Now, it does vary. Sometimes you will get iron ore, sometimes you will get nothing. Looks like we're lucky this time. We're getting nothing but iron ore. And after a while, the ore will break. The vein will break even. Now let's try this vein over here. Copper. No luck on this occasion, you see? Now let's try this one up here. You'll see that I need a stronger mining pick than normal to mine a node of this caliber. So, let's proceed to the next room and see what we can do about that. Now this is the Great Forge. You can see there's a little hop over here. Ah, we've got this guy over here. I'm the blacksmith. If you bring me bars and other rare materials, I can synth them. Try it yourself with these. I got sapphire and some copper ore. So, let's talk to the, this guy. Check the tablet next to me for the list of recipes I can synth. So let's have a look next to him. We want a legendary pick. So we need the mining pick, which we've got. Sapphire, which he just gave us, and 500 gold. Now we have 5,000 gold. So let's make a legendary pick. So if we check our items now, you'll see we actually have a, um, a legendary pick as opposed to a mining pick. Over here you can smelt your bars, uh, your ores into bars, so we have some copper ore. Let's put the ore in and turn it into a bar. Excellent. You can see now that a copper ore has turned into a copper bar. Let's go back here and try the crystal vein and see if we can mine it this time. As you can see, now that we have the legendary pick, it lets us mine, and we got some crystal on that occasion. Again, results vary. We got a jade. And again, like always, it breaks after a while. With the legendary pick, you can still mine normal nodes. Now, there's various other bits included in this demo for you to find out yourself. You can turn slippers into ruby slippers, and you can make a copper sword with the bars but I'll leave you to play around with that. So that's what's included in this demo. Now, as you can see, we'll quickly run through some of these events. Outside, nothing special here. We've got a chest and we've got a shop. This person sells us rubies and sapphires. This chest gives us the slippers. Nothing special here. Inside the mine, you'll see we have the events for the veins. Now, this is much like my fishing tutorial in which when you view the node, you'll see that first thing it checks for is if the node has been mined more than five times. If it has, then it will break and it will control self switch B. As you can see at the bottom, control self switch B is on and when B is on, it's just dirt and rocks. So that's what controls whether or not it will break. If it hasn't been more or equal to five, then it will see if you've got a mining pick. Now if you've got the mining pick, it's going to do the mine event, in which case it's going to roll a random number from 0 to 100. Now, if it's 0 to 25, so a 25% chance, you're going to get no luck. If it's 25 to 95, you're going to get some copper ore. And if it's 95 or more, then you're going to get a ruby. So again, think of it as a percentage. If it's 100, then you know, 0 to 25 is obviously 25%. Now, as you can see, it also sees, it also checks if you have a legendary pick. Now, if you have a legendary pick and not a mining pick, then it's going to increase your odds here. So as you can see, you've got less chance of getting nothing because it starts from 20. And as you can see, 
over 25, you've got a chance of some copper ore. So you've only got a small 5% chance of getting nothing as opposed to 25%. So it increases your odds, the better the pick you've got. Now you can obviously have as many different variables as you like. You can have mining pick level 1, mining pick level 2, mining pick level 3. Uh, so you don't need to just have the two here. You can obviously play around with this script as much as you like. Okay, so that's everything there. As you can see, of course, um, when you obviously get a variable, so for example, 20, between 25 and 95, you will get plus one copper ore, and it's going to control the variable rock no, number one node plus one, in which case, this goes back here, if rock number one node is over five, then it's going to break. So that's what counts that. So for the crystal one, you can see that just checks for the legendary pick. Um, you can't even use a mining pick for that one. Um, and I've just added a few more tabs here. So you can get rubies, you can get sapphires, you can get jades. And then if you're really lucky, you get a chunk of crystal. Okay, you can pick up the pick over here. In the Great Forge, again, two big events here. We have the blacksmith himself. Now what he'll basically do is synth certain items if you have them in your party. It's just a lot of conditional branches, you see. So, start. Need some smithing services? Check the tablet next to me for the list of recipes I can synth. So I'll show you the choices here. Depending on what you pick will depend on what you need. So if you choose the legendary pick, it will check if you have a sapphire, if you have a mining pick, if you have enough gold. And if you do, it will tell you the recipe base then it'll ask you if you want to proceed. And if you do, it'll take those things away from you, play a little animation, and then it'll say you now have the item, and it'll give you what you've crafted. If you say no, it'll jump it back to the start of the script, back to the label, and that just repeats for every separate thing. So you've got copper bar here. Uh, now with something that has multiple items, like for example, this copper bar needs at least three. The first thing I did was I controlled a variable copper bar count and I used game data the number of copper bars so what that's going to do is it's going to turn the variable copper bar count into the number of copper bars you've got into your inventory therefore with this conditional branch it will check if copper bar count is more than or equal to three and if it is you can proceed there's lots of else statements as well so if the user doesn't have enough gold it'll say you don't have enough gold if you don't have enough copper bars, it's going to tell you you need at least three bars, not enough. So there's lots of um, else statements as well as um, the conditional branch itself. So that's how the smith works. Uh, sorry, the synthesis works. This is the smith and the smelting. Um, so again, conditional branches. It starts off with some text. This crystal is scorching hot, ready for optimum smelting. Smelt. And if you do, it'll give you your choices. So in this tutorial, we've got copper, iron, or nothing. You can have as much choices as you want. Again, this is just the foundations of the uh, potential of, of, of this event. So now it'll say, let's put the ore in like this, play a little animation, and then it'll remove an ore, remove a bar. It really is as simple as that. The only thing it checks for is if you have copper ore. And if you don't, it'll tell you, I don't have any copper ore. And then it will jump you back to the question, which is up here. And then it will ask you again, smelt. So that's everything, really. Uh, of course, we have a recipe list here, in which is just some choices uh, and tells you what you need. Um, apart from that, I really don't think there's anything else you need to need to uh, play about with. Uh, so please, as always, the unencrypted uh to demo for this is provided please download it have a play around with it and hopefully with it you can build yourself a very nice mining uh, smelting and synthesis um, system for your game one shout out here uh, that I do recommend I used a plugin by Celicom which is called rarity item colors um, and you can actually choose the rarity of items so you might have noticed that some of my items were green blue, purple, much like the likes of World of Warcraft and Diablo by Blizzard. Uh, you can colour, for example, rare items. You can have them blue, epics, you can have them purple. So that's a really cool script that I recommend for your game. Check it out. And as I say, it's by Celicom. So big shout out to that guy. Uh, as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching my tutorial. Um, 
like, subscribe um, for more. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike, leave a comment why and how I can improve. And if you have any requests, as always, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.